Hi folks and welcome to another optimization differentiation hire question. Here we have an oil production platform nine route three kilometers offshore and it's to be connected by a pipeline to a refinery onshore that we can see here. So think of this as a bird's eye view looking down. You can see the oil production platform offshore there, the pipeline's running under the sea, and then here it goes onto the land and on into the refinery there. So it's 100 kilometers down the coast from the platform as shown in this diagram here. Now the length of underwater pipeline is x kilometers, okay, and the length of pipeline on land is y kilometers. Now we've been told it costs two million pounds to lay each kilometer of pipeline under the water and one million pounds to lay each kilometer of pipeline on land. So in part A, for three marks, we have to show that the total cost of this pipeline in pound kilometer or pounds a million is this, which does not involve why and that's very interesting so that's what we need to kind of look at how do we do it well the cost of the pipeline is going to be so if i slide the question up a little bit it'll go out of frame slightly but uh don't worry i'll do that so the cost of the pipeline so if i write this as part a so the cost of pipeline well that's going to consist of two times wherever the length of x is, so it's going to be 2x plus 1 times, and, and the reason it's 2 is I'm just saying 2 million, so 2 times x and 1 times y, since this is going to be in million pounds anyway, we can take the million out of the equation, so it's going to be 1 times whatever y is, which is just y. Now, the issue here is we have to find a way to replace y with purely x. So how do we do that? Well, we know overall this is 100 kilometers, and we know that part is y, so if we can work out what this is, then we can do 100 subtract this, and that will obviously leave us with whatever y happens to be. Well, how can we go ahead and do that? Well, this is what is effectively a right angle triangle. So via Pythagoras, we can actually figure out what this part down here is. So I'll do that on the side over here. So if I have my triangle, and I'm not going to bother drawing it, it's effectively going to be by Pythag is going to be um, x kilometers, x squared, subtract 9 root 3 squared, all square rooted. Okay, so that's just going to work out to be, well, I could just keep it like that actually, because thinking about it, they've done that there and if you pop this into a calculator you'll actually see it does work out to be 243 so that's quite neat there so that's just going to be x squared minus 243 all to the power of a half which is square root or if you do want to write it as the power of a half you can do and now it's looking distinctly like this part here so let's go ahead and sub that in so it's going to be the cost of the pipeline is going to be 2x plus, and it's going to be 100 subtract this part here. So 100 subtract, and this part here we've already found to be x squared minus 243 to the half. And tidying that up, it's just going to be 2x plus 100 minus x squared minus 243 to the power of a half. Like so. And that's basically what they were looking for. So we can go ahead and underline that because that's part A done. Three marks. So once again, you'll notice that there tends to be a fairly common theme in the first part of optimization questions where you start off with a fairly logical method of how to do it and you'll quickly realize that one of your variables is not actually involved in the question itself, so you have to figure out a way to rewrite that in terms of the other variable, and that's basically what we do in almost every part A for optimization. So let's go on to part B. In part B, we've been asked to show that x equals 18 uh, gives a minimum cost for this pipeline. So once again, that is the minimum 
turning point. So we need to differentiate, make it equal to zero, solve for x, and then show via a nature table that it is in fact a minimum turning point. Then we have to go ahead and find this minimum cost and the corresponding total length of the pipeline, which we can do uh, involving that part there. So, okay, let's do the first part. So part B, show that it's a, uh, or what was it? Show that x equals 18 gives a minimum cost. So, well, we have the cost cx equals, I should have really put cx in there. So cx equals 2x plus 100 minus x squared minus 2, 4, 3 to the power of a half. Now this part will involve the chain rule for differentiation because obviously we have a function inside and a function outside, uh, effectively like an f of g of x. So let's differentiate this. So the first part doesn't require the chain rule at all. Differentiate 2x, you get 2. Differentiate 100, that just vanishes. Then differentiate this part via chain rule, it's going to give us minus a half x squared minus 2, 4, 3 to the power of negative a half multiplied by the inside function differentiated, which if you differentiate x squared, you get 2x, differentiate minus 243, it simply vanishes. So that, if we tidy it up, is going to be, so basically I'm going to do 2 subtract, 2x times minus a half is just minus x, x squared minus 2, 4, 3 to the negative a half. And then once again, we uh, make a statement for stationary points, c dashed x equals 0, hence 0 equals 2 minus x, open bracket, x squared minus 2, 4, 3 to the negative a half. Okay, so a lot of people might get to this point and think, ah, what do I do here? I really don't know how to solve for x because this is a lot more complicated uh, than I've ever seen. And all I say is, well, we know it should equal zero. And if it does equal zero for whatever the x value is, then lo and behold, it's a stationary point. Well, they've basically said to us, uh, if I bring this back into frame, show that x equals 18 gives a minimum. Well, how about we use x equals 18, plug that in, you know, here and here. And if we get zero, great left-hand side equals the right-hand side, this is in fact a stationary point. So it's a little bit of a different way to approach it, and that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to do 2 minus um, 18, bracket, 18 squared minus 2, 4, 3 to the negative a half. And if you plug that into a calculator, you will in fact see that it does equal 0. Therefore, x equals 18 is a stationary point. Now we cannot actually go ahead and say that it's a minimum turning point because we haven't proven it yet but we can say x equals 18 is a stationary point so we have that much let's go ahead and do a nature table and that will be our justification so x c dashed x and uh, shape so let's go ahead and do this okay so i'm going to use 18 uh, let's go 17 and let's go 19 and if I do that lo and behold stick that into the calculator so I'm plugging these numbers back into my differentiated equation here and that's going to give me a negative here which will be a obviously a, a negative gradient zero which is what I was hoping for which we see did work and that gives me a, a, a zero gradient and a positive which is in fact a positive gradient. So great, that is my justification. So I can basically go ahead and say that this is, in fact, a minimum. Fantastic. So that's that part done. They were asking me to show that x equals 18 gives a minimum, and it does. What we then need to do is find this minimum cost and the corresponding total length. So how do we go ahead and do that? Well, we take x equals 18 and we sub it back into our cost equation that we found back here or the cost equation that they gave us if you weren't able to actually find it. So C of 18 is going to be 2 times 18 plus 100 minus 18 squared minus 243 to the power of a half. And so you can go and pop all that into the calculator. And if we do that, lo and behold, the cost when X is 18 works out to be 127 million pounds. 
quite a lot of money at the end of the day. Okay, great. So we have a cost. What do we need to do next? Well, next we need to f um, find the corresponding total length of the pipeline. So all we do in that situation is, well, I'll, I guess I'll do it on the other side of this page. So the total length will basically be, well, we knew, we knew that the cost is, uh, let's see, 2x plus y. And we know that the cost is 127. And we know x is 18, so we'll just do 2 times 18 plus y. And that will enable us to work out what y is. So that's 127 equals 36 plus y. And let me just pop that into the calculator to see what it works out to be. Take a Okay, so that's going to be 91, so y equals 91. And hence, now we, that we know what y is, the length, well, the length is just x plus y, because there's x and there's y, so, you know, if we know x is 18 and we know y is 91, that means the length is just going to be 18 plus 91, and it works out to be 109 kilometers. And that's it. That's that entire question done. Uh, we have... Showing the total cost of the pipeline does in fact equal that. We, sh we show that when x is 18, we do in fact get a stationary point. Not only a stationary point, but a minimum stationary point. And we find the minimum cost and the corresponding total length of the pipeline, all for 10 marks. Thanks very much, folks. Appreciate you watching. If you do have any questions or any other question you'd like me to go over, feel free to ask, leave comments, and of course, subscribe. It'll be greatly appreciated. Till next time.